this? Bobber, a barrier in our mosque? No way. The women already pray behind the men. Isn't that enough? Hockey boards? I got a deal from the old rink. From what I hear, nothing separates men from women like hockey night in Canada. <laughs> <laughs> You're not going to get away with this. Leave that alone! No. You stop that! Well, come on! <laughs> Two minutes for interference. Omar, he's the one who's interfering. The Grand Mosque in Mecca doesn't have a barrier. She's interfering. A barrier is essential. You're both interfering. I'm the Imam. I decide. Of course. Of course. Take it down! Absolutely not! Women distract men from their prayers! Oh, that is such a lame excuse! You see? Women are a distraction! I wasn't distracted! Bobber, admit it, because you're wrong! Well, what do you mean you weren't distracted? All right, boys and girls. This is a contentious issue. Bobber, you can't just decide this on your own. Finally, an enlightened male voice running our mosque. Don't listen to this feminist. She is trying to distract you. Let me weigh both sides and get back to the congregation. Great. So help me take this down. No. Until I make my decision, the barrier stays. <sighs> Three seconds of male enlightenment. That's a new record. Sweetheart, I tip for the lookin', not the cookin'. Would it kill you Muslim gals to show a little cleavage now and then? Would it kill you if I hit you with a cleaver? <laughs> Would you talk like that on your radio show? You bet your burka, darling. Controversy pays. Well, ladies, the men are at it again. Bobber is putting up a barrier in the mosque. That man seriously needs a sex life. The barrier gives women privacy, too. So put the men behind the barrier. Please, you're talking like a fanatic. Oh, well, finally, I fit in. This is not the place to discuss this. So I, uh, I was right, huh? Islam is a sexist religion. Mm. <laughs> Only when it's run by men. Well, so why don't you come on the show this afternoon and talk it up? Always happy to champion a good-looking underdog. Yeah. She can't. It is forbidden for women, for women to speak on the radio. It is? It's in the Quran. Oh, right. It is. Chapter 115, verse 42. It's all there. <laughs> Figures. Well, you know where to find me. Radio 660, The Freeze. Um... <laughs> Ow! What are you thinking? Dad, I need to talk to you about something important. Real important or teenage important? Our school is having a... No dances. I got my degree without one cent to shake my boogie. <laughs> it's booty. And it's not a dance. It's a 10K run. They're raising money for the new hockey rink. Raising money for charity. That's very Islamic, right? I'll be with all my friends, who are all girls. Surrounded by boys. What will you be wearing to this social event? I'll wear something appropriate. Please, can I go? Please, please. Thank you, thank you. I love you. I know, I know. Yasser's office, now. Yasser, you are a contractor. We need your help installing a barrier. There's no vapor barrier? The whole of Get your head out of your business for two minutes and think like a Muslim. A barrier for the prayer hall. Guys, the men and women have been praying together in my basement for years. Now that you've got us a proper mosque, in a church, mind you, we need to set a proper example. Go talk to Omar. Mm, mm, mm. Leave me out of this. I can't imagine Amar wants a barrier, or the majority of the women, for that matter. Well, the majority of the men do want a barrier, and without our substantial financial contributions, the mosque will close. And so does your free office space. 
Look at that. I have a hole in my schedule right now. Allah be praised. <laughs> Lord of all mankind. For centuries, man has... Oh, Friday. Try saying people instead of man in your sermon. Less controversial. So, you've seen the barrier. Come on. Make this easy on yourself. Keep the barrier. Or Baba will stage a mutiny. It has no theological validity. Forget theology. It's a scientific fact that men get distracted with women around. But the women pray behind the men. Even when a woman is behind a man, he knows she's there. Hmm. Darling, Hi. I didn't hear you come in. <laughs> Always such a pleasure to see the mayor. Hi. Sorry for distracting you. Uh, believe me, you're a welcome distraction. <laughs> Amar. I'd love to get your congregation support for the new hockey rink. It's a wonderful idea. Well, the mayor would like to speak after prayers on Friday. You're always welcome. Thank Friday? You. This Friday? Mm -hmm. Oh, the short notice might put us up against a wall. Do you follow Amar? <laughs> I don't want the mayor to be bored. Is there a problem, Yasser? No problem, ladies. We'll see you on Friday. Trust me, Brandy, it's like war. You start off with shock and awe, and then you work your way up to a reasonable compromise. I know what I'm doing. So? Stuff for Allah, I can see your belly button. You look like a Protestant. Don't you mean prostitute? No, I meant Protestant. Have your bosoms grown? Now you look like a rapper. I'm totally covered. It is modestly modest. But you don't have to cover your hair. Not until you start your menses. Dad, don't mm. gross me out. So, we're good? Too much attention on your bottom. They're the only ones I have. I'll buy you something new. Go change. Dad, I can't believe you're shining with Barbara. Yeah. You see, men get distracted by women. It's the same everywhere. Well, maybe men could wear those cones that they put on dogs, you know, so they can't lick themselves. That's right. Yeah. If you were men, you would understand how complicated this is. No, if I was a man, I, I wouldn't make it this complicated. That's right. Oh. Okay, I have to get to the clinic. But once I'm gone, just imagine that after everything Mom says, I am saying, that's right. Bye, sweetie. See you later. Love you. Rayanne has gone. We have the house to ourselves. We can't have a barrier. No, you have to convince Amar to take it down. Use your charm. Yes, but why waste it on Amar? Well, Let's continue this discussion upstairs. Okay. You will talk to Amar. Yes. Yeah, and you'll do it before the mayor comes to the mosque on Friday? Oh, let's not rock the boat. Look. When you run a contracting business, uh -huh. you tend to have to deal with men. Wives have a lot of influence when it comes to home rentals, too, darling. It's men who write the checks. Oh. Ah. Do you have any idea how insulting this barrier is to me? Hmm? rian has gone out. We don't have to talk Muslim politics 24 hours a day. You're not going to do this for me, are you? No. But don't take it personally. You're right. You're right. Let's stick to the facts. Barriers between men and women are a great idea. I'm so glad that you see it this way. Yeah, I do. I do. And you know what makes a wonderful barrier? Our bedroom door. Before we go, I'd like to introduce a very special guest, Mayor Popowitz. Hi, sweetie. Hi, everybody. Hello. Good afternoon. Oh, could you take these? Oh. Careful of the straps. I hope the women back there can hear me, because I'm sure we'll all agree that women are the heart of any community. Can you hear me, ladies? <clears throat> okay, close enough. The run for the rink is this weekend. I hope many of you will come out. We are looking for contributions. I've asked Yasser to pass around a box. 
Thank you, yes, sir. I hope the women get a chance to contribute because, of course, the rink is for them as well, isn't it? <clears throat> Sorry, it's just a little hard to contribute when we're in the penalty box. the Muslim women of mercy gonna be treated with the same respect as our local gals. Fred Tupper now, standing up for oppressed women? I think he's standing up for oppressed boobs. A good Christian gal? Well, and Jim Dandy. Now, as Reagan said to Gorby, I say to that mosque, tear down that wall. Oh, I hate to admit it, but for once, I agree with that jerk. Right now, let's go live Your scarf is on too tight. <sighs> Oh, darling. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm delighted to see such a turnout. Vigorous debate is the lifeblood of our community. Lifeblood? I think we might need a transfusion here. This is ridiculous. I want the barrier. I don't want a bunch of men leering at me when I pray. And I don't want you women distracted by my bottom. Trust me, no one is looking at your bottom. Uh, I've prepared a few arguments. Now, in the time of the Prophet, Thank women Thank you for were... that, Ryan. Let's vote. I haven't said anything yet. Everyone knows what you think. Oh, really? So what am I thinking right now? Who cares what you're thinking? I have a right to speak. Islam is a democracy. Exactly. So kindly shut up so we can vote. <sighs> okay, it won't even be a fair vote. The men are just going to bully their wives into siding with them. Yeah. Not in my house. Our house. You'll see? If you had not been shooting your mouth off in my cafe, mm -hmm. the whole town would not be in an uproar. Come on now. The ravings of one right-wing radio host can hardly be called an uproar. Oppressed Muslim women of the world, cut your chains and be free. Oppressed Muslim women of the world, cut your chains and be free. Oppressed Muslim women of the world, cut your chains and be free. Sisters, be brave. Stand up to the prairie Taliban. This isn't helping anyone. I, I put fires out for a living. Watch this. Hi. Listen, just between you and me, I am totally on your side, OK? okay. However, uh... Well, you see that culturally diverse woman of color? Well, she supports the barrier. Really? Mm -hmm. So do you think it's our place as, as privileged white people to, to tell her how to worship? Well, I, no, I mean, we didn't mean to offend anyone. Can you come back later if I need you? Sure. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay. Uh, let's move it out. Like shooting fish in a barrel. I hope you didn't upset them. Some of those women are good customers. What did you say to them? That you were going to take down the barrier. That's not damage control. That's lying. Don't make me a liar. You are not looking well. This whole business is keeping me up all night. <laughs> Yes, sir. I'm delighted to see you take such an interest in your faith. I've never prayed so much in my life. She has to cover her head. Then talk to her. I can't. She doesn't know. She doesn't know she has her period? Oh, that child needs a mother. No, 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 no. She doesn't know. I know. Ah, she's kept it from you because she doesn't want to wear the scarf. Western school system. Filling her head with thinking. Please, a scarf. Calm down. Hurry. 
So embarrassing. It's part of being a woman. It's embarrassing me. You women, you only think of yourself. What a baby. So, how goes the Great Barrier Grief? <laughs> My congregation's coming apart at the seams, and I'm in the middle again. Any words of wisdom? No, not really. No. But I, I did have a choir master once. I caught smoking pot. So what'd you do? John 8, verse 7. He among you who has not sinned, cast the first stone. Or in this case, he among you who has not got stoned, cast the first sin. So you didn't fire him? Not until I accidentally ate a couple of his hash brownies at the choir picnic. I guess that ended his career. No. Now he's working for the United Church. from our goal. Great. What is with you? You've been like this all week. Um, did you read Liz Estrada when you were at university? Is that the one where the son kills his mother? No, no, no. I think that that one... Oh, Liz Estrada, Liz Estrada. It's the one where the women of Greece uh, try to stop the men from going to war by withholding... sex. Yep, that's the one. I don't remember. Did the husbands find the cave? Hello, Mayor. Hello. The barrier's down. All down. Sarah, you look so tired. I do? Mm-hmm. I think you better go home and lie down. Lie down? Oh, yes. Yes, I will. Yes, I am. We will. Yes, thank you. You're welcome. Is everything okay at school? Does Allah care whether I pray at school or home where no one can stare at me? Those kids are teasing you again. They don't I tease me. So what's the problem? They don't say anything. They just stand there and pretend like nothing's going on. I couldn't feel like more of a freak if I tried. I know it's not easy. I don't fit in that well in the secular world either. Oh, you mean people haven't started to warm up to that just off the boat look you have? Oh, so now I look seasick. Oh, look, there's my friends. I'll be right back. Down. Put it down. Over there. Down. Excuse me. Down. Nadia? Put it down. What's happening? Bobber's putting the barrier back up. Oh, really? Well, let me help him. Hey, get off of there, you no! crazy lady. You're not supposed to touch me. Please, forgive me, Sister Ryan. I totally forgot myself. Of course. It'll never happen again. Good. Give me that piece of wood so I can push it off. Uh, Nadia, help me. What? I thought your back, girlfriend. I took it down. I swear I took it down. What is he doing? Pick up that board. No. no. Use your muscles. In Pakistan, we can move ten women at a time. Where's your dignity? Ow. Hey, hey, hey. You leave my daughter alone. Ow. Leave my daughter alone. Hey. Hey. Clear the boards. I've made a decision. Excellent. Finally. Everybody sit. Okay, everyone, my decision is this. The barrier stays. Now, I'm not finished. It also goes. Are you taking the crack? I opened the book of Al-Bukhari and found the story of King Suleiman. He settled a custody battle between two mothers by offering to cut a baby in half. What baby? We don't have a baby. Yeah, but Suleiman didn't do it, Amar. The women worked it out. Yeah. Exactly. The barrier stays as it is, half up. 
Those who want it can pray behind it. Those that don't have the other side of the room to pray without it. Rayon? I hate it. Bobber? It's terrible. The perfect Muslim solution. Nobody's happy. You can come back to our bedroom now. Alhamdulillah. But only on Mondays and Wednesdays. Saturdays. Saturdays. Good, yes. Sundays? Even Muslims need a day of rest. She's quite the young woman now. Yes, she is. Odd. She's not wearing the hijab. That is always next month. <laughs> All right, Mercy. Let's run for the rink. Well, it's a relief the war in the mosque is over. Oh, you're telling me, Brother Amar. Harmony between the sexes is better for everyone. You think I handled it okay? You're doing a great job! <laughs> Thanks. Gross! Guys, get a room.